everybody. Guys, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of that bonus news action here on the channel. And if you guys are new or, you know, maybe you just haven't seen me do one of these videos because it's been a while, uh, bonus news is a segment on my channel where I cover a pretty small news story that I personally think is noteworthy but isn't really that big of a deal to stretch out to 10 minutes. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about a uh, pretty important topic because it seems like Bungie is going to be updating the Trials of Osiris loot pool going into season 14. And I know my PvE and PvE PvP players are going to be very happy about this. Now, first things first, what's the loot pool that we currently have? Well, we have about six weapons. Of course, we also have the Adepts, but we got the likes of Igneous, Astral Horizon, Tomorrow's Answer, Exile's Curse, Solar Scar, and the Messenger. However, there are actually more weapons than just that that exist in Trials of Osiris, not just currently. And those weapons, of course, are the Summoner, the Eye of Soul, and the Scholar. And you might be asking, well, how does this tie into today's video? Well, DMG, who's the Bungie community manager was tweeting out today about Trials of Osiris. If you guys don't know, the map is Distant Shore and the rewards are four times Igneous Hammer. He was tweeting about that and then he also put some sub tweets under where he was talking about when armor is going to be the three win reward again and then he also ended up putting yet another tweet that said this, will the Eye of Soul sniper ever come back? What he said is that it went out of rotation during Season of the Chosen and the new season starts next week so stay tuned. Obviously, this this practically confirms that we will be seeing Eye of Saul back in the Trials of Osiris loot pool. There's just no reason for him to say this, you know, and not actually mean it. So in today's video, I just want to let you guys know, Eye of Saul is going to be finding its way back into Trials come next season, but what makes Eye of Saul so special? Eye of Saul is an aggressive frame kinetic sniper rifle from Trials, and it has both really good PvE and PvP roles. Lucky for me, I was able to get both of the PvP roles before it was taken out of the loot pool, and that would be snapshot sites in the first slot, as well as either opening shot or Vorpal in the second slot. Of course, Vorpal going to help you take people out of their supers, and opening shots going to give you a little bit more aim assist. Now, the PvE roles, and this is the one that I don't have and that I really wish I had, is actually Field Prep and Vorpal. You'll notice a lot of top high-end players, whenever they're doing things like Grandmaster Nightfalls or sometimes even Raids, will find themselves using a weapon like Eye of Saul with Field Prep and Vorpal. Of course, Field Prep is going to give you that faster reload when you're crouched, but it's also going to give you a lot more ammo, and Vorpal is going to allow you to deal damage to those higher health targets. So, Eye of Saul overall is a really Really good sniper rifle. However, I want to open up the discussion as to whether or not we will be seeing the Summoner and the Scholar as well, and Eye of Saul won't be just the only weapon coming back, because let's be honest, the Scholar isn't really that great of a weapon. However, the Summoner is a weapon that I get asked about all the time whenever I'm using it on my Twitch streams. Now, the Summoner has some really good roles specifically for me in PvE. It's a 600 RPM auto rifle and it does solar damage, and you can get the role of Overflow and Rampage on this thing, and it's a really fun weapon to run, especially if you're doing a mission that is heavy on solar shields. If you're looking for a PvP role, maybe something like Moving Target or Zen Moment, as well as Rampage or Rangefinder in the second slot. The Summoner is a pretty damn iconic weapon, and it would kinda suck to see Eye of Saul come back next season and the Summoner not come back next season. Now, like I said earlier, the Scholar, I, I don't really care if the Scholar comes back, but honestly, we need to see more incentivized loot in Trasvos. As we saw with Igneous Hammer, you had tons of people simply jumping off the map just to get the 3-1 reward because Igneous Hammer is that good. But when Eye of Saul gets added to the loot pool, we'll probably be seeing a lot of that too, not only because it's a good PvP weapon, but especially it's a really good PvE weapon. That weapon is desirable because of how good it is in both modes, but why stop at the Eye of Saul? We all know that Bungie's probably not making brand new Tras of Osiris weapons going into next season, so why not just go ahead and bring back the whole loot pool? I mean, even the Scholar, why the hell not? But specifically, the Summoner. It's a really good PvE weapon, and I know a lot of people would love to get their hands on it, as, you know, for me, it's one of my favorite auto rifles, and I get asked questions about it all the time because people really like it. But guys, that is it for this video. I just wanted to let you all know that the Trials of Osiris loot pool is getting updated next season. It will be seeing Eye of Saul 100%, and I also wanted to open up a discussion about the other Trials loot because there's a lot of people that missed out on those and it would be kind of nice to see people actually be able to get their hands on them because FOMO is a bitch. But guys, that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time watching my content, definitely feel free to subscribe because I make content like this all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.